What's up everybody, Steve here. If you guys are in the market to buy a second home, you're gonna wanna do so in 2022. Assuming you're taking on debt, you're gonna wanna do so before April. I'm gonna talk about this article. I'll, I'll leave a, a link in the description below for you guys as well. It says, uh, Fannie and Freddie increasing fee on second home loans. And uh, essentially they are increasing the G fee begins on April 1st, 2022, according to FHFA's announcement. So Fannie and Freddie essentially have control over the mortgage market because uh, pretty much more than half, half of mortgages out there in the United States are backed by Fannie and Freddie, which essentially allows lenders to keep on lending. So this is gonna affect a lot of people who are interested in buying a second home. Uh, FHFA uses money ge generated by G fees, essentially a surcharge to loans they purchase to support affordable housing through programs such as Home Ready, Home Possible, F or HFA Preferred, and HFA Advantage. And essentially it's a distribution of wealth because they're charging somebody that's buying a home, a second home, they're charging them a large fee, which we're gonna talk about here in a second, and then they're gonna use those monies to go into affordable housing projects. I think it is important for government intervention on affordability for housing, but I think by gouging people in this manner is just the wrong way to do it. You know, we're, we're in the state of high taxation and our taxes are just going higher and higher and this is just one other fee surcharge that are hitting the American public. I wanna hear your comments below too on what you guys think about this. But basically for uh, second home loans, upfront fees will increase between 1.125% and 3.875% tiered by loan to value ratio. Now I called my, uh, my mortgage broker here locally to find out what that tiered uh, event is gonna look like and he didn't know at this point in time, but when we do get it, I'll, I'll lay it out for you guys. But let's say you guys took a $600,000 loan on a second home loan and you bought a place here in Florida, let's say, and they charged you the upfront fee at the max amount of 3.875%. That means you're gonna have to come up with almost $24,000 for this one fee that's gonna go to the affordable housing program, whatever program that's gonna be. So, and that's not including all your other uh, closing costs. You know, you have other mortgage related closing costs, you have upfront closing costs related to prepaids for your taxes, insurance, um, you have prorations of real estate taxes. So there, there's a lot of other upfront closing costs that you're gonna have with loan, origi loan origination fees. So this is just one other fee that you can anticipate if you guys are financing, getting a loan in 2022 after April 1st. And uh, I think it's very important because if you guys are on the sidelines and you're thinking, you know, when is a good time to buy, when is it not? You know, if I'm in the market to buy a second home, uh, to lock in some some you know historically low interest rates, I might do so right now. And then this would be one other factor to kind of speed that up. As mentioned, I'm going to leave the link for you guys below. Let me know your thoughts on this. Let me know if you are if you guys think that these fees are a good thing, a bad thing, what it's really doing for the American people. And uh, I appreciate any comments below and I appreciate every subscriber on this channel. Thanks a lot for being here.